As bubble and squeak is one of my favorite dishes for a Monday night, I always deliberately cook loads of extra veg for my Sunday roast. And this delicious frittata is a great twist on that classic recipe and is ready in a matter of minutes. So to start off with, I've got these onions. They've just been cooking down gently in a frying pan. While those are just caramelizing away, I'm gonna take some of my leftover veg. Now, you can use anything really, whatever is left over after your roast. So I've got some pasta, some potatoes, and then some great green veg as well. So just roughly chop these up. And you can use any kind of leftover vegetables really. So carrots, broccoli, kale, butternut squash. You could also jazz this frittata up a little bit if you like. So chuck in a bit of chilli, maybe some fennel seeds, some fresh herbs. So those onions are golden and sweet now. I can go straight in with the vegetables. At this stage, make sure you cook them out for a good few minutes and get some colour on them. And for me, the whole essence of Bubble and Squeak is getting some life back into those vegetables and really waking them up. And then to that, I'm going to add some leftover green veg. So I've got some Savoy cabbage and some Brussels sprouts. Just give those a bit of a shake together. And just keep moving them around for about two or three minutes to really get some colour on the outside to get loads of flavour in there. And while those vegetables are getting some more life back into them, I can crack on with the eggs. So a pan this size needs about six eggs. And that's going to do four people really nicely. Just beat the eggs with a fork. And pour those over the vegetables. And what you want to do is just let that egg start to fill in the gaps around the vegetables. So give it a bit of a shake, just so they're all coated and it all binds together. Now at this stage, I tend to switch over to a heat-proof rubber spatula, just because it gives you a little bit more control, just to stop them from sticking. and just gives you a really nice shape as well. Quick grind of pepper over the top and a little bit of salt. And then you just want to cook this out for a few minutes, just until the bottom starts to set. It starts to turn golden brown. We're almost there, so I'm going to take some pecorino cheese and just grate over the top. And because this is going under the grill, that cheese is going to go bubbly and golden and just add a nice little bit of texture to the top of the frittata. So I'm using pecorino cheese, but as this is a classic leftover dish, you can use anything that's in your fridge. Maybe a few little bits of blue cheese, a slice or two of goat's cheese, anything you like really. So once that's over the top, just turn the heat off and then this is going to go under a hot grill just for a couple of minutes. It should be golden brown and look, that's exactly what you're looking for. The eggs have started to puff up around the edges, that cheese has melted, we're going to have a lovely little crust on top. Leave it to rest for a couple of minutes and then cut it into nice big wedges and serve it with a crisp green salad. And there you have it, my bubble and squeak frittata.